And now with just over 50 days to go until Election Day, voters in our region are weighing in on the issues they want to hear the candidates address. NBC5's Anna Goober joins us live from Winooski this morning where she spoke with voters about what they want to hear tonight, Anna. Yeah, Lauren, Adrian, the voters I spoke with want to hear a wide range of issues discussed by the candidates tonight. Everything ranging from immigration to the economy, gun control. There's a lot to cover during tonight's debate. And a lot of people say that this debate could have a big influence over the election as it could be the only time we see the candidates go head to head before November 5th rolls around. I wish I could say I'm more optimistic, but I am not. The last debate um, wasn't that impressed with it, uh, so I'm looking for some energy, hopefully. All eyes are on former President Trump and Vice President Harris as they get ready for what could be their only debate before the November election. I feel concerned that the divide on a national scale remains very large. While some voters have already made a decision on who they're voting for, others are waiting to hear how candidates will address some big issues. Addressing the issues um, like the economy, like immigration and the host of other issues, foreign relations. I definitely want to hear about gun violence, women's health, um, the conflict in Israel. Roe v. Wade, without a doubt, hands down. Homelessness, not in Vermont, but around the country drug issues, addiction, and the insane price of living. Middlebury political science professor Matt Dickinson says don't expect the candidates to hold back on their attacks on each other. On the perspective from Harris, she is going to try to focus on Trump's chaos-inducing behavior. So January 6th will loom large here. But also the threat to abortion rights. The Trump campaign is going to try to portray uh, Vice President Harris as more liberal than she wants to appear as she's running in a general election. But in the final weeks of the election season, Dickinson says it's what happens after the debate that could carry even more weight than what's said on the stage. Then there's the debate ramifications as discussed by the media and pundits on both sides who try to frame those results in a particular way. And that can have a bigger impact than the actual debate. And NBC's special coverage of tonight's debate will start at 8 o'clock tonight. The debate itself starts at 9. And the same rules from the June debate will again apply tonight. The microphones for each candidate will be muted until it's their turn to speak. And the debate will take place in a private studio without an audience. We're in Winooski, Anna Goober, NBC5 News.